ripping your hair out because you're trying to drive and the kids are making a fucking mess? You'll be making <laughs> so much money, it pays itself off. Ooh, precious food. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Everybody has an evil cat or an annoying dog. Use it to groom them or even your son. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Wow! This guy. Normally, a sticky is $20, but a sticky buddy is only $10.99. You'll also get a cover. You gotta use protection. Even if it's a quickie, wrap that sticky. Stop rolling up your money with those old lint rollers. The fuck is wrong with you? Check out the suggestively sized sticky buddy. You're gonna want to stroke it, but not too much. It'll make a mess. Hide it in your purse. 007, leave it somewhere as a pleasant surprise. And like I said before, I have magic rubber fingers that get deep into your hairy cracks. Get some buddies for just $10.99. But wait, there's more. If you have jumbo-sized pubes, we got a jumbo-sized sticky bunny. Who let Spider-Man in the house? The cat's flipping turds everywhere. Who keeps flicking their boogers under the bed? But you know what? The hair that you find is yours to do with as you please. Why not make a toupee or break out the turbo snake? All of these guys will be your buddies with their rubber fingers for just $10.99. Ask about free shipping. Now get out of my house. Isn't that right, Mr. Wuss Wuss? <laughs> Why in God's name did you show me that? <laughs> me and my brother used to know that by heart, brother. I wholeheartedly <laughs> believe that. Jesus Christ. This has got to be one of the dumbest videos. When I look back on it every time, I'm like, this is the most ridiculous dub I've ever seen. No, when that girl said, oh my God, precious food, I died. That, oh, oh my the God. Part, the part that had me floored was the... That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no! Yeah! <laughs> that grandma was going super sane. <laughs> Oh, so this is discussions and other stupidity. I, Jesus, what a way to open a show. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> you used to do it to me like we talked about it. That's episode. true. <laughs> you finally got me back. You know how long I've been waiting to figure out a way to get you back? <laughs> that, that Precious was food. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that was so, brilliant. Uh, First off, I know it's uh, some days late, but uh, Happy New Year. Very ha good Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Happy yeah. New Year. It's yeah, over with. That. It's done. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah thank, yeah, thank God. Why do so, we do that? I, I'm more... No, no. Why? Okay, New Year is January 1st, okay? okay? That's when it's New Year. But on, like, the 5th, people are like, Happy New Year. That was four honest. days ago. To be honest, though, I haven't seen your face since the New Year, so this is like the first time I'm seeing you. So it's, you know, oh. <laughs> you see somebody for the first time in June. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year. <laughs> I literally got called an asshole at work the other day because well, someone's kind of surprised, but true. Someone's like, hey, Happy New Year, Saint. I'm like, you know, today's the third, right? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. Some technicalities. But then somebody's like, well, we always say Merry Christmas weeks before Christmas. And I was like, who's we? <laughs> That's, that was you. That was you. Anyway. So the, so the thing that's bothered me about. So I got wrote up. <laughs> There's no way you got wrote up for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, I punched my boss in the throat. Like, this guy. <laughs> so um, my, it's, as far as the New Year's thing is concerned, though, what bothers me is I, I don't know why I let it get to me when people are like, what's your New Year's resolution? I'm like, I don't have I don't have an see don't like making you get resolution. mad when people ask you for a New Year's resolution. And then I get mad when people say New Year's two weeks after the fact. <laughs> well, my thing is, like, when people when people talk about New Year's resolutions, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's like it's an all or nothing thing. And that's not how New Year's resolutions are supposed to be. Like by the end of the year, you were supposed to have done that. Right. You know, like like learn the piano. If you learned how to at least identify the notes in sheet music, you did essentially learn the piano. Like, like that's, you learned, that's fair. You I mean, learn you ain't Mozart or anything. 
Right. And like, yeah, 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 sure. Maybe you've got hobbit hands or something and you just can't like really play. Like, or that guy play. from Scary Movie 2. <laughs> you know the one? <laughs> like, you imagine that guy trying to play the piano? Honestly, I've seen people with um, with hand defy. I, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to die. <laughs> Anyways, I've seen a lot of people with uh, different um, deformities in their hands play the piano mm-hmm. and play it like way better than me. So I can't even hate. I saw children fair. with way smaller hands than me just wrecking shop. Yeah, proteges. Proteges. So the last time my son shows me up. So anyways, the New Year's resolutions, it bothers me because like if you took the year and you really tried to work on that and you're a little better than you were last year, I feel like it's like it can be considered like, yeah, I hit my New Year's resolution. I didn't quite hit the mark that I wanted to hit, but I did it. You I know, think that type of thing. I think with New Year's resolutions, like most people, they'll start out with the New Year's resolution, but by March, they're done. So that's you know. my thing is people always use Sunday, Monday, new month, mm-hmm. new year, new quarter. Right. Um, to make significant changes when it's like, oh, I, man, I made it to the 16th day of February. And you know what? I had yeah. a burger. I guess we'll try again next month. No. How about try again tomorrow? Like tomorrow is a completely different day. What do you do? Yeah. I mean, that's fair, but I ain't finna give up no burger. Listen, that's why you don't make it your New Year's resolution. That's the other thing that people do. Yeah. New Year's resolutions. Well, it's extreme. That's like, what I'm saying. They don't set realistic steps. goals. Yeah. I've, I've, gone, I've gone the past six years eating a candy bar every other day, and then all of a sudden, I'm just going to stop eating candy. No. 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 No, you can't do that. I'm going to treat myself to one candy every other, other, other day. Mm. Mm. Now we're on. But something. what candy are we treating ourselves to? And even then, my New Year's resolution is to stop eating candy. You have twelve months to do it. And yeah, then, and when uh, Halloween uh, comes around, you're screwed. Right. See, that's what separates the men from the boys, or insert any other gender or non-gender. Either. Yeah. Way. Sure. So, so that's so that's my whole thing. Is like resolutions have always bothered me for that yeah. reason. It's because. It's always like the stigma that like the moment that you fail at your resolution, you're done for the year. But bro, right. like you only made it to January 4th. Like, what are you talking about? Exactly. Also, you probably shouldn't have given up alcohol, moron. Like, you know yeah. I mean? like, and you shouldn't say Happy New Year on January 4th. It was January 1st. Please leave it on that day. I don't need to hear Happy New Year three weeks after the fact. I'm going to ask one random person who hasn't talked to you all year to say to you in June just to piss you off. Oh, it will. I will throw a fit. There are two (laughs) times where it's acceptable to say Happy New Year. January 1st and whatever day Chinese New Year is. Other than that, I don't care. That's not at all. So you're saying Happy New Year can't be on New Year's Eve? What do you say? Merry New Year's Eve? Like, What does that look like? No, you wait until midnight. When you're hammered and then you shoot a shotgun outside and you say happy new year or whatever they do in Alabama. Speaking of, (laughs) speaking of which side tangent, what the hell is that? Are you like a sniper right now? Like, is that what's going on? I mean, like I said, new year, midnight, (laughs) you shoot a shotgun. (laughs) That is not a shotgun. That is a I said I that started. is a micro. It is not a sniper rifle. Okay, it's not. I can promise you that. I am not allowed to have firearms for various reasons. We won't get into it. But no, that's a microphone stand. <laughs> it's got to be the same reason I'm not allowed in Canada. <laughs> so you're not allowed in Canada. Oh, right. We've we've went over that. Yeah, we've talked about that on the podcast. We have. Not so much, but uh, if you'd like to guess. You know why, or like, like what did Mike do to piss off the Canadians? (laughs) Why, why is Mike shunned from Canadian culture? It's because he did not say sorry. Feel free to comment on the YouTube video. Also, you can go over to our social media pages at DOS Podcast. It's on. Why did I put my hand up? Like, there's like a graphic is going to appear. I don't know because because I'm a good partner and it, it is there. Okay, that's oh, okay. exactly that's exactly why you do. <laughs> You'll that. clean that up in post. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, get there. Boy, get there. Um, so like that's my thing is if people are gonna make New Year's resolutions, just be consistent about it. That is my that is my thing. And because I'm not a very consistent person, I don't want to make a resolution. Like if somebody sees me eating a bag of chips like somewhere, they're like, I thought you were eating healthy. I guess that resolution's gone. I'm like, no, I'm way healthier this year than I was last year. Wait, who's talking to you like that? I'm gonna be honest, I don't pay attention. That's what people sound like when I don't that's listen like- to them. <laughs> Do you work in like a high tech like lab or something? And then like one of the dudes is just like that guy. He's Beaker from Sesame Street. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you were gonna stop eating the potato chips. I gave him a Yankee accent because you're up there now. So you probably have a lot of Yankee interactions. You sounded like you're from freaking Chicago. I don't know what you're talking a about. A Yankee interaction. Some Chicagoan, if that's how you say that. Yeah, Some, where somewhere. the cheese is underneath the sauce. <laughs> the <show. laughs> Why are you so good? <laughs> Anyways, so 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 that's my thing. Is like as far as consistency, like like be consistent. Which right, kinda, which, which kinda neither like, of us are. No, but let me no. tell you. Let me tell you who's the worst about being consistent, and that's public bathrooms, and it pisses me off. Pissing. Why are we using public bathrooms? Well, we don't together. I use it separate, and then you use it at some point. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. Don't I? Don't you? That's my thing about public bathrooms, though. Like, like, have you ever been in a public bathroom where, like, you no, had, never. You had to, you're a lying sack of shit. So you had to <laughs> open the <laughs> you had to open the door you with go, your foot. You, well, yeah, unless you ain't scared of shit. In which case the public bathroom is like where you get to test out all of the knowledge you have learned from like John Wick, Jason Bourne, Bruce Lee, and all those movies. Because you're like, hoo, 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 and you're like trying to kick the door open and then shut it with your foot because you don't want to touch anything. Well, that's my thing. And that's why I'm so bothered because like there's public restrooms who have upgraded to the automatic toilet. So you don't have to right. touch the flusher because, you know, people be pissing on that. Right. And my thing is, if I have to open the door manually, mm-hmm. I have to like let the f- toilet flush itself, and then I get to the sink, and I'm over mm-hmm. there just waving my hands in front of an analog freaking faucet. Like, what the hell is that shit? And then all of a sudden, I go to I go to like pull the lever. <laughs> crank. I, I go to pull the lever crank on the freaking uh, paper towel thing, and it just doesn't do anything because it's automatic. So like, it just keeps switching. Like the whole time, it's setting me up for failure for the next step in my piss. I can just picture you like in front of the faucet, just going. It won't come on. Do you know how many times I've done that? Because the why won't it come on? And my dumbass keeps pause. The toilet, the to- the toilet <laughs> is <laughs> the toilet is automatic, and I just judge the rest of the bathroom right. based on that. And then I Do get you... there. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm just like I, I'm tired of doing jujitsu in front of every part of the bathroom. Like it's the yeah. most annoying thing in the world. Like here's like okay, so the automatic toilets. You know how like when you go in, some of them they have that little black thing that's obviously the sensor. Yeah. To I okay, it was a camera, and I was like, I did too. <laughs> I always ugh, freaked me out, and I'm like, whoever's watching this, get ready to laugh. <laughs> what? I'm just imagining you just like <laughs> just like that scene him. in the Ace Ventura when he gets in the exactly. pool. <laughs> He's in the pool just down there getting all into it. He did like <laughs> five voiceovers during that. <laughs> he, found the, <laughs> he found the diamond, the diamond from the Super Bowl ring, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. So like, so that's my thing is like, 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 cause we're going to talk about movies in a second, but like my whole thing is the, the bathrooms are so inconsistent, but the worst thing about the bathrooms is because, because America cannot get their shit together is why is there a gap this big in every stall in every bathroom you ever go to? Like, like you go to other, like in other countries, there's a lot of them that have like, like overlapping door. Right, like overlapping door to wall, so you can't see in there. But meanwhile, in America, somebody walks into the bathroom and they just wedge in there, like freaking Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny, like freaking staring at me through the. Who's you know, staring at you through the thing, Kate Moss? 
Bro, I can't tell you how many times I've felt like my dog taking a shit. You know, that shame and that, like, guilt that dogs have when they take a shit. <laughs> like, you know, they're just exposed. They're like, so someone told me that the reason why they look like that when they do they're, that. Because they're super exposed. No, it's because they're watching you to make sure that you're looking out for them when they're in that vulnerable position. I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes sense. Well, that's the weird thing. Because like, hey, I'm just going to I'm just going to crap right here. Uh, you got so, me. So me, as you know, I'm a homesteader and I have the one point one acre lot. Yeah. <laughs> so so I let my dogs out and I go back inside and they just kind of roam around, roam about the property, about the manor, if you will. <laughs> and the manor. I like that. Roam about the manor. And so as they roam around and everything, they know I'm not out there, but I'll peek out there just to make sure they haven't run away or like yeah. attacked the, the Amazon guy who brought like 17 packages to my front door. And I will still see my dog like this. Like, just, like, staring at me. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is the guiltiest, most vulnerable look I've ever seen on a bee. And so it's every, like... time, every time somebody walks into the bathroom, like, I even get my hoodie. I'll take off my hoodie and hang it in between the crack because I'm sick and tired of motherfuckers. <laughs> in that what kind crack, of I'm bathrooms like, are you visiting? Like, if they're... Like sometimes, apparently. like bro, sometimes if I go into a public restroom and there's like four, five other people in there, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just hang outside and look suspicious until they leave, and then I'm gonna go do in. That. There. I only do that when I like. Go I don't care. Home. I I am not, especially if I gotta go boom boom. You know what I'm talking about? Like I'm not. And I'm even then, there is like a daddy. lot of risk involved when it's like that. It's like Daddy always said, "Don't be a hero." <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly. Or like my grandfather used to say, if you shoot yourself in the foot, that's just what happens. Yeah. I'm going to need you to be careful with that rifle off in the background if that's the case. So um, we, so you. It's not a rifle. So I'm telling you. I'm not it, busy bone. I don't have it, a rifle. Anybody who owns a gun or knows guns watching this right now is like, hey, I got you. You don't look like no damn rifle. I don't know why they, I don't know why they would sound like that, but you know. <laughs> Why is Matthew McConaughey watching this? I don't understand. Hey, don't you don't you make me start getting my Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> all right, that is all right. so good. That is so good. Well, I've fallen off. I gotta I gotta take a giant chug of some delicious water so I can get the S's right. Hold on. Oh yeah, hydrate mm. or dihydrate, as you know. So all right, you know what I'm saying. So you gotta get the S's, kind of like like a slight whistle whenever you're talking like like Matthew McConaughey. You know what I'm saying. Jesus, that is so you good. Just, you just gotta gotta slowly talk about the things and just sound <laughs> intrigued as you say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Matthew McConaughey. But speaking was... on Speaking on act, don't you don't don't you patronize me, okay? No, uh, that's so, not patronized. That's jealousy. I can so, do I can do hundreds of impressions. My Matthew McConaughey sucks. <laughs> Listen. We so that is Matthew McConaughey. We really could. Thing is, you know, so one thing that I've realized in the new year for anybody who doesn't know who Matthew McConaughey is, obviously an actor. Um, obviously, like as far as the new year, I need to stop judging people for not knowing actors and not knowing movies. Do you do that? Do you judge no. people who don't watch like like haven't seen like some of the biggest movies? No, I used to, but I don't care anymore. Bro, I've I've tried to get to the point where I don't care anymore, but like like I just can't because well, here's like, here's I feel horrible though. Like I feel bad because it's like a differing lifestyle. Like they're just not into movies or whatever. And it's probably right. Bad. It's probably why I'm an idiot, you know, because <laughs> the fact that I just know so many movies. I just I'm over there like frying my brain just watching watching uh followers followers come, you know, like just staring off into the distance. Just well, like, like here's you know, the thing, like like, thing. like older movies that are like established movies that have been around forever that everybody knows like that's one thing like that's but what I'm like talking about. people that's will come about. people will literally ask me about a show or a movie or something that's that literally is out on netflix that's been out for like a year and a half or two years and i don't know what they're talking about that's my pet peeve though like like i like the two sides of my coin right on once on one side i 
it bothers me. And my thing is like, I don't judge until three movies. If, if there's, if I get to the third popular movie that I've referenced in front of you and you have not seen that we've got to talk and you've got some homework to do on right. the other hand, um, anybody coming at me talking about weeds, game of Thrones, Downton Abbey. Yeah. Shows you don't watch. Right. right. See yeah. out of the three you named, I've seen one and that's game of Thrones. You're better than me. I just and the people who like. I mean, I slept through the first season, but when you get to the second season, it's all right. Dude, if you have to wait for a full season for something to get good, it's not good. I'm sorry. But regardless, a lot of people are probably like, you don't like Game of Thrones. And remember when we were in radio, that's all we ever talked about. Oh, Oh, yeah. You got so much hate for your distaste of Game of Thrones. The exact reason I don't like Game of Thrones is because they're fans. Jeez, just leave people alone. It's the same as Rick and Morty fans. Listen, that's a whole nother breed of teenagers, but we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> so fair. My, my whole thing is that like, like, I don't know. Like I said, I feel bad when I like judge people like that, but at the right. same time, if you don't know that Darth Vader dies, like that's on you, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Well, you, well, you know, you know, like, especially like with music, somebody will be like, yo, have you ever heard this group or this band? And you're like, no, you've never heard them. No, I <laughs> told you heard, I didn't. You've never heard of Dexy's Midnight Rider. See, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start. Yeah, like, I'm going to start taking really obscure things and be like, you do. You've never you've. Are you serious? You've never been to Gilbert, Arkansas. It's the coldest place on Earth. What do you even do for vacation? Right. And I mean, if you're going to Arkansas for a vacation as an Arkansan, let me just stop you right there. OK, there's, there's plenty. Can I tell you something really funny? Sure. I prepared so much to say that that I looked up Gilbert, Arkansas. It's like, a, of course you did. It's like a population of 26 people and yeah. it is actually regarded as one of the coldest places in Arkansas. And yeah. I want to hold that against people because apparently <laughs> movies is the wrong thing to hold people against. You know, like, fun fact them. about Gilbert, Arkansas, it is owned by the Gilbert family. You're lying. Everybody in Gilbert, Arkansas, it has the last name Gilbert. That's You're why there's lying. 26 people. You're and that's lying. why some of them are cross-eyed. He is, he is so full of shit. He has no idea. I most certainly about. am not. There, there's there's the Gilbert hardware store, the Gilbert dollar store. <laughs> you know what I'm doing right now, right? Gilbert Elementary, Gilbert Middle School, Gilbert High School. <laughs> Dude, they're all home the of building. the fighting Gilberts. Oh my god, you know how mad I am at you right now? Probably a lot. Because is, even though I made it up, I was probably there, half right. There is a Gilbert dollar store. And there is a Gilbert Middle School. <laughs> of course there is! I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm from Arkansas, bro. Every small town in Arkansas has a small town name dollar store. Hold on, hold on. Can I t- just slight tangent of a story time real quick? Let's go. I'm ready. It's not for you. This is for anybody paying attention to this ridiculous thing we call a podcast. So, yeah, that's fair. I had the opportunity to get back into the the live music business, the, the mm-hmm. concert business. Um, and I was an admin for a music festival, um, which I went to Arkansas for. That's where the music festival is every year. And it was the first time that I got to go to the music festival, but not my first rodeo in Arkansas. It's my what, first what rodeo. What part of Arkansas did you go to? Ozark. Okay, so you were up Mulberry, north. Mulberry Mountain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mountain. I know where that is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Close to the hood. When I was on my way, I text Sane and I said, I'm going to your neck of the woods, bro. I'll be there for about a week. And you <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna just pull it up right now. Might as well. Let, let's this, just this is, throw me under that bus going to Gilbert Middle School. This has to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I said when I got off of there, I said, "Why Arkansas stank so bad?" And I was totally joking. Like I, it wasn't bad. It didn't smell like anything. You said that's the smell of a hundred thousand armpits and unbrushed teeth that you smell. <laughs> you are from Arkansas. You need to stop it. 
<laughs> and you know and, what? And you know what? Anybody that knows me that's from Arkansas, that's like friends with me on social media, is going to see that and go, hey! <laughs> well, it gets worse. Of course it does. <laughs> I have no filter. By the end of the trip, I fully expect you to have met either a Peggy Sue or a Bubba Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the worst part is? You met a Bubba Joe. The baggage claim guy that I had to ask if the baggage was ever going to come. His name tag said, and I'm not joking, Bubba Joe. <laughs> <laughs> was it J-O or J-O-E? Because that makes a difference. There was no E. There was no E. Yeah, you met a good old boy. You met a good old boy. Hey, man, I might have checked that bag for you. <laughs> hey, you got any of them batteries or zing zings in them? <laughs> zing zings. <laughs> What's a zing zing? You know, zing zing. You got any doodads in there that I need to know about? I might have to check that bag. I want to open it because I don't know what you got in there. You fellas from down south, homie, you doing, you know, dang on dang. Let me preface that we met in Oklahoma, <laughs> and he is from Arkansas making fun of Arkansas folk. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Listen, I'm not about to get canceled by Razorback fans, okay? I am just saying. <laughs> oh, dude, trust me. Razorback fans, they're not worried about what we're saying, okay? That's, that's fair. We were we were we we won a few games last year, but we lost a lot. So they say, don't care. You need to say it the way that you used to have would have said it. How would I used to have said it? <laughs> Listen, we won a few games last year. No, oh, okay, yeah. Say now we get the ball on the goddamn line, and the offensive line straight garbage. Okay, I don't know who the offensive line coach, but he needs to be drug out in the middle of town and shot. Now. I'm telling you, Arkansas is going to band together. They're going to get us, bro. They're going to get us. They've been trying to get me for 20 years, bro. They ain't got me yet. <laughs> that's because you won't go back, bro. That's that's, like, that's, that's also fair. Like, that's, that's also secret. That's secret no, talking. no. L- listen, I I love my home state. Like, no, it's that's actually why really I, pretty. It's actually I always, really pretty. always claim it. I always tell people I'm from Arkansas, and they're like, "Oh, that <laughs> makes like, sense." They're like, "You sure are." <laughs> <laughs> they like, "Oh, we get it." Okay, bro, say no more, time, fam. The first time you said "ain't nothing but to do it," I was like, "Bro, this guy is definitely from Arkansas." <laughs> ain't nothing but do it. <laughs> you was like, "Hey, we gonna record that today?" I was like, "Yeah, man, ain't nothing but do it." <laughs> I was. You so were awesome. like, "You said what?" <laughs> I was so lost. Because people from Arkansas, they 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 have their own language. It bothers me, I think, the most about the movie thing because of um like because of my wife. Like, so she's on her phone a lot and she's always researching things and she's always on TikTok and like she just knows a lot of things. She's like a wealth of knowledge. One of the smartest people I know, if not the smartest person I know in the entire world. And okay. Because she's always looking shit up. Right. The thing is, she's also looking shit up when we're watching movies. <laughs> when when so when we watch movies that i know that she hasn't seen before she's okay hearing half of it and seeing the other half of it and has no idea what's going on because let me tell you this right now there this is a real sentence that she said one time and let me get through this <laughs> let me get go through. ahead you have so, the floor she said well it's like <laughs> i don't even remember the context but well it's like benjamin franklin once said uh, i didn't fail i found 900 ways how not to make a light bulb and i was like what? That's Thomas Edison. <laughs> and she, <laughs> by the way, it's also it's not Thomas Edison. It was his minions, like his little team of people that did that. But yeah, because um, he 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 stole it from Nikola Tesla, right? And then she right. said, she said Ben Franklin though he was he was the one with the kite and the key, the keeper, right? the keeper of keys. Yeah. She said, I thought that they were friends. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she goes, weren't they part of the same club together? That's what National Treasure is all about. <laughs> this is a real, this is a real conversation I have with my wife because that's what she gathered from National Treasure. <laughs> so when I tell you, when people haven't seen the movie. <laughs> I can't even like make movie references to my wife. Like one time I said, I'm gonna steal it <laughs> when I saw something at the store <laughs> that I wanted. 
I saw something at the store I wanted, and I said, I want that, but it's so expensive. I'm going to steal it. it. She had no idea what I was talking about. I'm like, I'm going to steal a decoration. So, okay, so you've seen Christmas Vacation. Who has not? Okay, fair. Okay, don't don't Steve, attack there's me. Gen, there's, there's my judgment don't, coming out. I'm sorry. Calm down, sir. I'm sorry. Christ. <laughs> Can I have my head back? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeez, riding that bus all the way to Gilbert Middle School. Anyway, <laughs> so I I am the person, and there are people that can attest to this. You probably can attest to this. I laugh at parts of movies <laughs> that aren't typically supposed to be funny. At all. <laughs> but I find them hilarious. I cannot remember what movie we were watching, and I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Continue. You're fine. So, in the scene in Christmas Vacation, when he gets his bonus, and it's the the club card or whatever, and he <laughs> flips out and he goes on that long rant and he's like scum sucking, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then yeah. he goes Heartless to the punch. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes to the punch bowl, and he takes the moose antlers and he dips it in the punch bowl. I don't think it's punch in there. I think it's like it's this is eggnog. It's yeah, eggnog, right? So eggnog. he dips it in there and then he drinks it and he goes, Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> that is hands down my favorite part of the movie. And every time I laugh at it, no one knows why. <laughs> Everybody's just watching. Like you're that guy in the theater. Everybody just laughed and you laughed at the part right after. And everybody's. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But the reason that I laugh at that stuff is because that's the stuff that's really funny to me. Like when he went on that long tirade, I'm like, yeah, I said that yesterday at work. Like, what are we really talking about? Which is so accurate. That's how you talk at work. Oh, yeah, dude. I could. I thought I was going to get fired yesterday, but that's not the point. So, like, the thing is, I couldn't have this conversation with my wife because she did. She, she just, she's like, "Oh yeah, Christmas vacation. That's the one where they went they went into the field and they they chopped down their own Christmas tree, and he almost got ran over by a log truck, and then he kidnaps his boss, right? Like, that's yeah, what she would have got. That's that's, she, yeah, this is very accurate, but that's not the story. I promise. No, not the story at all. Not not whatsoever. And so, like, no, because is, it wasn't him that kidnapped his boss. It was the other guy. And no, well, it was, yeah, his brother in law. So yeah, cousin it. Here's the thing the thing that's so. I think the reason that that bothers me so much is because, and like, I've started to feel bad is because Misty will say something. Mm hmm. Like she'll just make a comment. She'll just say something like, like, a, like a reference, it sounds like, but I don't know it's a reference. And I just go, oh, yeah. And she that's, goes, you haven't seen that TikTok? And just immediately pulls out her phone. I'm like, you fuck. You you haven't even seen Forrest Gump. But but see, on the flip side of that, I'm the type of person that'll make a reference from a movie that everyone has seen. And no one will know what I'm talking about. Because it was a forgettable part of the movie that wasn't meant to be funny, but I found it hilarious. <laughs> like, remember that part in Lord of the Rings where he goes, find a sweet in the South Folly. <laughs> <laughs> See? That was my favorite part of the whole show. All three of them. And I have quoted that with you for the last 15 years. We you hadn't really known each have. other that long, but still. TikTok really added an extra layer of conversations, and that's research. <laughs> like, I have to look up a TikTok. To oh, have yeah. Well, it's the same thing with Vine. We had to do that with Vine back in the day. Yeah, but we weren't glued to Vine. No, but if TikTok someone came up. If someone came up to you on the street and said, oh, my God, they were roommates. TikTok pulled together YouTube, mm -hmm. Pinterest, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. and hell, I probably like I mean, more of them, but it pulled them together yeah. because you can literally learn anything on TikTok and also unlearn everything on TikTok at the same time. It's crazy. Or, or you could become a complete conspiracy theory nut. That's what I'm saying. Unlearn everything. Unlearn yeah. everything you knew about the government. I'm here to tell you. The so, so today, um, Cat Williams was on a podcast with Shannon Sharp. That's and a, by, by, hold on. That is a beautiful pair to put together for entertainment. Was it ever? So <laughs> it was two and a half hours of Cat Williams roasting 
everyone. Yeah, as he does. Like Kevin Hart, Ricky Smiley, uh, P. Diddy, like Phase on Love caught a stray bullet. Like, but I didn't watch it. How's he? How's Phase on Love gonna catch a stray bullet, bro? Dude, Cat Williams, Cat Williams just went in on everybody. I don't know bro. why. Bro, but was, my was, point is, my point is, is like you could watch the two and a half hours on YouTube, the full thing, or you could go on TikTok and it comes up once and you watch the whole thing all the way through and then you scroll up and then the rest of it will come through in little mini clips. I feel like I saw the entire podcast on TikTok this afternoon. Yeah, because it's all the highlights. That's like right. literally what it yeah. is. It's like, it's yeah. like catching, catching up on like the game from ESPN. Like it's the yeah. exact same thing. Yeah. And yeah, 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and that's and, the thing is I love TikTok. I love yeah. TikTok. Same it's time. a great it's a great platform. The only problem is is like right now like it's ads. Like it's the not- TikTok shop. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous. Like Listen, half of the ads though, like are, they're getting really entertaining. Oh yeah, for sure. You don't know their ads. The guy who does the Eminem impression did an ad for a law firm on TikTok. Dude, dude. okay. Somebody just hit me in the back. That dude's what's hilarious. with that? Yeah, that he's good. He's good. Now, dude, uh, Christian King. If I'm pretty sure that's his name from <laughs> Wild and Out. He does the meanest, most accurate Denzel Washington I've ever seen in my life. Better and than uh, what's his name, Jay Farrell way better than Jay Farrow. And he was on an Equalizer 3 ad. Really? For doing it. Interesting. Yeah, it was like really, really good. Like I don't really, know, man. Really Jay Farrow's Denzel is like... Bro, if you... It's on point. This, if you haven't seen this, bro... Like, like Chef's Kiss. Like his Denzel, his Jay-Z... Um, his Eddie Murphy. There's another one he does. It's like perfect. I can't remember though. No. So honestly, I don't, I think that his Jay Farrow or Jay Farrow's Jay Z is mm-hmm. I'm I, I can't figure out who has a better one. Jay Farrow or Aries Spears. Aries Spears. Jay Z is really Spears, good. Jay-Z and Aries Spears DMX is hilarious, but yeah, that's, that's fair. What I need you to do is take a look because again, are you gonna pull it up? It, since you brought it up, yeah, I'm already pulling it up because this. All right, is... I haven't seen Equalizer three. I saw the first two though, uh, and I haven't Netflix. seen the I haven't seen the TV show with Queen Latifah. It's on Netflix now, but uh, of course it is. I don't have Netflix, ladies and gentlemen of the courtroom. I stand here telling you that my client may not be a victim of kidnapping. No, oh. but she is a victim. Of lack of attention. It's not that she wanted to disappear, no, but she wanted to be more visible. Okay. The thing is, Matt Reif also came from Wild and Out. Yeah. So, like, like, there's a lot of like, like, wasn't it DC Young Fly? He didn't come from Wild and Out, but he. Can I can I say something about Matt Reif? He's too much, or is that what you're about to say? No, just, I'm not about to say that, that at all. I'm not about to say that at all. I'm not about to say that at all, okay? You can't have it both ways. Like, it's not fair, okay? You cannot be good-looking and funny, okay? He does how many bits about that? It's one or the other, okay? You can't have it both ways. I'm funny. (laughs) Just brag about it, right? (laughs) I'm funny, okay? I make people laugh. I'm dying inside, but I make people laugh. Damn it! You don't get to be you don't get to be good looking and funny like Ryan Gosling. He's a god. Is he funny? No, he's not. Have you seen the Barbie movie, bro? He's hilarious. He ain't write that. Did he write the script, bro? Okay, I saw the Barbie movie. He did a great job. I'm really proud of you. But I also saw Drive, and he did a better job. Drive was good. Drive was a good one. It was a great movie. Blade Runner 2049, excellent. Okay. <laughs> Our podcast just turned into like a movie reviews. Podcast. It really did. <laughs> you look lonely. See, that's the thing that we need to... We I can to... fix that. <laughs> you look like a good 
This is me. This is me scrolling past whatever you just did. So I know uh, that's everybody else doing it too. (laughs) Damn, just wishing it on us and stuff. So so here's just like uh, one more thing that I got to rant about really quickly. Okay, I say that it's like two more things. Uh, Another thing, like as far as stopping doing it in 2024. Like I need to stop doing it in 2024. Let's leave it in 2023 is treating my refrigerator and my food like, like it's American. And I say that because I cannot remember the last time I opened my fridge and said, Hey, the cilantro is still good. I buy, I overbuy everything, bro. Like everything. I, I, my food goes bad because why do you do that? I don't know. I have no idea. I've always done it though. I've always like I'm gonna make some salsa, and so I get. How often? Idea. How often do you go to the grocery store? If you say every week, I'm gonna reach through the computer and punch you. So there's an ongoing joke. My one of my good friends, Jackson, and even Misty. Um, I'll tell Misty. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go to the store. Oh, the store, the illustrious store. The famed, infamous store. Because I literally always go to the store. Yeah, you are an on-the-go kind of guy. You don't just no, sit just, at home and do nothing like I do. No, just every day I'm like, you know what I didn't get at the store yesterday? Cilantro. <laughs> so, But like, that's the problem. Is like I've never once opened my refrigerator and said, cilantro is good. I'm going to make some salsa. Because I, I buy it and... Three weeks it goes, goes by and it's not, and you don't anymore. use it, right? Don't yeah. use it. You're but that guy. Is, I, here's another one. Damn, I used all the milk. I should buy more. No, I throw my milk away when it's halfway like filled because I never finish my milk. I don't drink enough milk to do that. And I still buy enough as if I do, and it's like such a waste. That sounds and like it, a problem. No, the problem is, damn, I wish I. <laughs> Damn, I wish I hadn't eaten all of that Caesar salad. I really want some right now. It's something I also have never said in my life. Because salad, I will get it, prepare it, whatever sits in the fridge. That is always good intention. Never eat it. Look, I'm doing one of two things with my refrigerator. What? And it's either nothing or I'm using whatever leftover shredded cheese I have to put in my ramen noodles. Okay, it's either DoorDash or ramen for me. Like, this is the world I live in. Buckle up. Did you just say cheese in your ramen? Yeah, dude, I'm white. (laughs) I can't even I can't even say anything (laughs) like like, I don't have it. I don't have anything for that. I I was like, you're right. My bad. My bad. My bad. You're good. (laughs) You're good. Yep. Yep. White people like their cheese. Now he checks out. Let him through. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's let him exactly through. Let him through. Here's the here's here's the last thing that I need to I need to get off my chest as far as like entering the new year. Okay, um, it's about time for me to just state it, and other people will be like, "Oh, yeah, that's not true. You don't even know what that looks like, bro." I'm getting old. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's not an age thing. It's Is it like there's there's things that I do that I'm like, ah, oh, it's happening. Yeah. It's totally happening. Like you made the joke previously about uh, what? What do you did like, you read the newspaper read, today? Would you read the newspaper? Would you would you read the funnies last Sunday? Like like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> embarrassed by this. Like this is the most embarrassed I've been by any sign of age. I can't wait. So I pulled up to the ATM. Oh boy, the drive up ATM, and. <laughs> There was a line. There was three people there. And the first person was just like, like had his hand out. You know, you know, when people are at the ATM and they're like. Like they've never been to an ATM right, before. Like, they've ne- like they have no idea what they're doing, like what they're supposed to be doing. Like, it's the worst thing ever. So, like, that was the first person. They they ended up just staring with their finger and they pu- they pulled away. Like they actually pulled off still staring like that with their finger out the window still. And so I was like, that was weird. The next I have person- a question. What? Once you get done, once you get done, I have a question. Okay, so, just- so the next person pulls up and they, they go to put their card in like just for a split second and they go, ah, and then they pull away. And I'm like, this just isn't a popular ATM. And then the next person in front of me pulls up, doesn't even roll down their window and just takes off. And I'm like, okay, 
What's going on here? And so I pull up to the ATM and I look and it says error. Like that's all it says on the screen is error. And then a whole bunch of numbers are surrounding the screen, like the matrix, like, you know, like just like, like yeah, 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 yeah. So then I'm like looking at it. And I'm like, son of a bitch. I drove all this way. Cause this is, this was a very out of my way, a very inconvenient ATM to go to. Okay. So I'm reading, I'm looking at the ATM and wondering to myself, I'm like, what? you called corporate. What? <laughs> There's a number <laughs> on the ATM. I knew it. It says uh, contact it w- to report a malfunction of this ATM. And uh, bro, I called the shit out of that number. Okay. I of course you sh- did. I called the shit out of that number. And <laughs> and this a- this ATM. So I-, I realized that there was an ATM, like like I think it was like two miles away. So it wasn't that bad. I could have just driven to that. But I sat there. There was nobody behind me, and I sat there. It was a five minute phone call, and I sat at the ATM the entire time, and I reported this error in the ATM, and it, it was just real quick, real good. And they said, "Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We'll make sure to get somebody out there. T- uh, I don't know about today, but like probably by like tomorrow." And right. Like, okay. Cool. Thank you so much. This ATM right. is on the other side of town from me. I never go to this ATM, and I decided that day that I was going to be old as shit and just do it. Yeah. And so I have a question. Okay. That will determine if I'm old. Yes. Okay. Are you ready for this? I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm so sad. Yes. But here's the question. I'll devise a scenario, and then I'll ask the question. Okay. You pull up to a McDonald's drive through Oh, shit. <laughs> There's two cars in front of you ordering. You, you haven't ordered yet. The person that is currently ordering is taking a really long time. We're talking three and a half, four minutes. That is a long time at a freaking uh, drive It is. Now, in that moment, You're getting impatient. Have you ever said, and I quote, come on, the menu doesn't change? No, I've never said that. And you're not that old. Have you fucking said that? I said that yesterday. Oh, you poor unfortunate soul. Are you serious? Come on, the menu doesn't change. It's McDonald's. Get your Big way, Mac and get the hell on. By the way, the menu does change. There was a I know. Where I know. I know. Burger meal was not yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. So <laughs> what are there any other signs of like the age? Like you've you've made the old the old man noises for a very long time. And I feel like that's just like your privilege. Like that's probably uh, yeah, really yeah, that's a white people thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like yeah. that's the thing. Um, so wait, I wait, haven't, wait. I haven't left a group of people and said, well, time to be hitting the old dusty trail yet. So was, until I say that. So remember this, remember fire knave that I just told you about, right? <laughs> My friend. Yeah. He, he said that one time and I just cackled. I'm like, what the, f-? cause he said it ironically. And so from there, we, every time we see each other, we say a variation of it. Well, it's time to hit the old rusty pail. <laughs> like we we just <laughs> always will change the words on it to be ironic. So I'm glad that that's a white thing. I'm time kidding. to go over yonder and check out the sunset horizon. <laughs> he also, <laughs> I'm outing him and his and outing the way you really are. Dad. But like, <laughs> I guess it's a thing in Iowa to say, "Well, I suppose," and to just walk off. Like that's the end of the conversation. And then the person that you were conversating with then goes, I suppose, and just walks off with you. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. And so that checks you, out. As you say these different things, that's what comes to mind as well. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I suppose. that's the end. That's the end. Yeah. That's the end of our podcast. I suppose. <laughs> Before we go, I do want to say one thing. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to say rest in peace to the homie Drago. Homie from TikTok, passed away, had a heart attack, passed away. Damn. And I just want to say that, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with him and his family, Benz, Damaris, Alejandro, Poetic Vampire, like all the people that were really close with Drago. He had a lot of friends on social media 
he was one of the funniest people I've ever met. And like my heart's real heavy for him today and for all of them. And I just wanted to shout that out, man, because that's a homie and R.I.P. Drago. For real. No, nah, for real. R.I.P. I don't even know Drago, but earlier you told me that uh, he was one of the funniest people you knew. And I'm like, yeah, you got offended. Yeah, because you've never said that to me. I know. So, I told you about him, though. I told you about him. No, you told me about him. You told me I'm really mad that I never I never got to link up. Got, never got to meet. I'll him. say I'll send you some he of his TikToks because his social media funny. is still up. I'll, yeah. I'll send you some of his TikToks, dude. You'll right. you'll cackle. For Send sure. me that link. Also, we'll put, we'll post it in our comments. Just out of memory for him. Just out of memory for him on our social media pages. You know, at um, DOS Podcast. Again, make sure that if you're not watching the YouTube version, you go and check it out for some of the references that we make in here. You can you know see a little bit more interactive side of uh, Sane and Mike. That does it for us. And well, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs>